Hey guys, welcome to the gear closet. It's another Sunday night. You might have remembered a couple weeks ago, I was in this little bitty closet and I have all this damn gear and I said, hey, you know what, I really need to buy a bigger house to put all this gear in. Well, I didn't buy a bigger house, but I am going to move all this into a whole room. I'm gonna have a whole gear room <clears throat> and it probably won't be ready by next Sunday, but maybe the Sunday after and I'll give you guys a tour when I get it done. So what I have for you guys tonight is this bag. This is a REI radiant 20 degree bag and when I first started backpacking uh, one of the things I had problems with was finding a bag that was big enough for me I'm six foot four and the last time I checked I was about 265 as you can see I'm a fairly big guy um, broad shouldered and regular skinny mummy bags just don't work for me they don't keep me warm and they're not comfortable so I needed to find a bag that was not only long but a little extra wide so I could sleep on my side and roll around and this is one of the uh, best ones I could find. This is a uh, six foot, six inch bag. So I fit in it quite nicely at six four. And it's also, uh, it's got, I think, 70 inches across the shoulders. So there's plenty of inch of width for me to roll around at night. Um, it's got, it's extra wide here in the hips as well. As you can see, it's pretty long. Comes all the way to the phone. Look at how long that is. Ooh. So um, it's actually a pretty nice bag. It, it comes in at, uh, three pounds, two ounces. So it's a little heavy for me to backpack with. I backpack with uh, lighter quilts um, that are under under two pounds. Uh, but I do take this car camping. So when my son has a Cub Scout camp out or we're going just to a recreational area or something with a car close by, I'll throw this in the car and it works quite well. Um, it's got one of these uh, goofy little pockets that are completely useless. I don't know why they continue to put those on sleeping bags. I don't ever put anything in those. <clears throat> but it's got a three-quarter zipper goes all the way down um, it's rated to 20 degrees I haven't had it out that cold yet but I will uh, this winter because we're gonna do some winter camping with the wee blows it's a big deal so we're gonna have this out in the cold weather this year <clears throat> um, so uh, that lately I think this is an older model I think REI now has a, a purple color uh, radiant 20 bag if you go to the REI site and type in radiant 20 I think it's purple this bag is a little bit older. It has uh, 650 fill goose down. The new bag is 600 fill duck down. So this is probably a little higher quality, but you can't get it anymore. So, um, but you know, I struggle with finding things big enough for me, whether it's a coat or shoes or sleeping bags or tents, tents that are long, one person tents, forget it. I'm not in those at all. But uh, this has been a really good bag. So if, you, if you're a big guy that likes to backpack, or if you're married to a big guy or you know a big guy, maybe your son's a big guy, this is a, a good a good bag to go with uh, for backpackers, uh, at least to start with. The only other extra wide bags out there are you know, hunter's bags and big canvas bags that you wouldn't want to haul around, stuff from Coleman and stuff like that, um, or the double wide things for your significant other and yourself. But this one does pretty good for, uh, for big fellas. So um, anyway, this is the REI Radiant 20. This one's blue, the new ones are purple. I think they call them indigo, whatever, lavender or something, it's purple. Um, as usual, tomorrow at some point, I will have a, a companion blog post about the REI Radiant Down. So look for that tomorrow on MissouriHowl.com. And I'm sorry, I always miss all your guys' little comments and stuff. Ah, I'm so sorry. But anyway, have a good Sunday night and have a good week. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.